do I have any berry seeds in my teeth? I made a smoothie this morning and I was like, that was the worst smoothie to make. It was like kale and blackberries and there's just like seed after seed. I was just sitting in my car waiting for you guys picking my teeth. <clears throat> okay, are you gonna tell me when or where are you ready? Great. <laughs> We are back at the Austin Tudor today with a huge update. We have paint, we have shiplap, we have a butler's pantry laundry situation, and y'all, I can hardly believe that this is the same house. Now that most of the behind the scenes work is behind us, we're gonna start to see some big visual changes. Today's exciting update is just one step closer to being ready for my family. I'm so grateful you're here for the journey. I am so excited to have you back at the Austin Tutor. There are some huge updates inside. But before we go in, I want you to remember what this looked like when we first started. Okay, come on in guys. We are now inside. The living room has a lot of work still to do, but we got paint on the walls. This is Fossil by Benjamin Moore and it is the prettiest neutral creamy white. I love the contrast it has to the bright white trim, which will be a different color, but it really shows you how much darker and saturated this version of white is, which I think is gonna lend itself to blending seamlessly with all the color in the rest of the house. Ah, the door is in. This was a big floor plan change. If you remember back to the beginning, this was a solid wall. This was the primary bedroom, but now it's the snug. I love that there's gonna be a cozy hangout TV room, also Quinn's office, right off the primary living spaces, but you can always close the door for acoustic privacy. So this is our hidden shoe closet. We're a shoes off household, and there's a lot of storage in here, and Quinn has a lot of shoes. Okay, I have a lot of shoes too, but Quinn has a lot of shoes. I wanted it to really just be hidden, so I had this great idea to like run the drywall straight to the door and then texture the door so it all was just like hidden and apparently it's not going so smoothly and they don't love my ideas. So this is to be determined if it's gonna work out. Otherwise, worst case scenario, it goes back to being trimmed out and it's just a little miniature hobbit door. Okay, so here in the dining room, we got the ceiling painted. This is Fossil by Benjamin Moore as well. Remember, this room is gonna have that beautiful, dark, moody green wallpaper. The doors got primed. These will match the trim. And now let's head into the kitchen. Okay, so I feel like this is a really good example of the difference between Fossil by Benjamin Moore versus a plain white. You can see on the back wall, they didn't run Fossil all the way around because that's gonna be floor to ceiling cabinetry for our pantry. But you can see it's like quite a few shades darker than a traditional white. And when you're here in person, it's just the most creamy, dreamy, glowy color. They've got all of those repurposed cabinets and the repurposed counters in the butler's pantry now. So we ran the vertical ship flap into the butler's pantry here as well. One hiccup that came up, I was super, super excited to paint these cabinets a dark color, make it match the walls, and just lean into the fact that there's no natural light in here. But I got a text late from Jose last night and the paint is not sticking to these prefab cabinets. So we have to lean into the white cabinets. We're gonna do a little bit of a twist, but I promise there's gonna be a great solution that'll still feel super English and vibey. Okay, so we're in the new primary bedroom and they trimmed out all the shiplap. All of the nails are filled, it's ready to get painted, and rumor has it, it's getting painted today. Cross your fingers for me. But one really exciting, huge difference that you probably don't notice until you're actually in the space. This room used to have the attic access pull down ladder in the ceiling and now it's gone and it just feels so much more private, so much more intentional. And I'm just so, so thrilled and grateful for how this room has turned out. 
Our bathroom got a door. Come on in, because there's a lot of progress in here too. Okay, so here in the primary bathroom, all of the sheetrock is done. You can see the archway is really framed out now. They cleaned out all of those extra tidbits that were left over from the previous water closet. Plumbing and electrical has been moved, and this is ready to get taped, mudded, and painted in the next few days. Okay, so we're up in the loft and I'm super pumped because the furniture that's going in here is set to be delivered next week. They're these low profile sofas with incredible scalloped edge trim. They have no arms, so I'm putting two next to each other for one giant built-in bench seat, which is gonna be so vibey up here and Kennedy's going to love it. Paint went on the walls. It's the same fossil that we're using throughout the rest of the house and what we're calling our white, even though you can tell it's definitely a much warmer, creamier white than your traditional basic white. Okay, so we're now in primary guest room one, the big room upstairs. This is the green room. It looks so pretty in Benjamin Moore's Georgian green. But I think the update I love most is that we got rid of those bifold doors and we just turned this into this cute little reading nook. So we'll put a chair in there, there's the bookshelves, and it's just like this super sweet little moment that feels super English to me. We do have a little bit of a bummer. I have two more cabinets I was trying to repurpose from the kitchen, but with the news that the paint's not sticking to it, I no longer can build them into these cubbies. So Jose is gonna have his cabinet maker make me two dressers that have three drawers that they'll build in and paint to match. I just, I hate having to throw anything away. So I'm gonna move those two sets of drawers into the garage and they'll go towards Quinn's tool bench for now. Here's the second guest bedroom, and this will be the wallpaper room. It has the original wallpaper currently. Jose says that wallpaper will stick better to previous wallpaper. Didn't know that. And to prep, they've gone ahead and painted the ceiling, and as soon as the wallpaper arrives, this room will get finished out. Okay, so now we're in the smallest guest bedroom. This is hopefully the future nursery. The walls are painted in Benjamin Moore Cedar Key. It's this really nice neutral putty color that I think will have a lot of longevity until we really decide what color these walls should be in the future. So one little pro tip slash unpopular opinion that I did throughout the entire house is in any room that has color, we painted walls, ceiling, trim, and doors all the same color, all the same finish. I think it feels really English. I think it adds a lot of heritage to the house. And if you are unsure what to do, I challenge you to try that out for this super elevated look. Okay, so that wraps up this week's episode of the Austin Tudor and be so excited because floors go in the day after Christmas, our kitchen cabinets get delivered on Monday, paint will be finished, wallpaper will be finished. And I mean, we're a few weeks out from moving in. I cannot believe it. Make sure and subscribe, follow us on Instagram for all the behind the scenes, and I'll see you again next week. Thank you all so much for joining us today for another episode. Now that we're almost done with paint, flooring isn't far behind. Be sure to subscribe and follow along on Instagram so you don't miss out on all of the updates.